Guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through with this episode. I mean, in the past in Yandere Simulator, we've had some brutal, and I mean brutal kills. Getting hit with a bat, getting pushed off a roof, dismembering with a circular saw, death by lollipop, drowning, electrocution, setting people on fire. There's just so, so much. And I, you know, I thought those were super, super brutal, right? But I just don't know if I have the heart to go through with this one. And I'm talking about death by Sody Pop. <laughs> you won't believe me that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna bury coconuts in Sody Pops today on this episode of Yandere Simulator. So welcome, guys. I'm so glad you could join me. Seriously, thank you. So the last episode I did of Yandere Simulator, we had the 100,000, it, it was at least 100,000. It's probably more than 100,000, but it was at least 100,000 sodas that we just filled the whole room with and our computer ran really slow. Flashback time. So much soda. Okay, let's let the game chill. And one of you left a comment saying what would happen if I buried one of the students in sodas. So I thought, that's perfect. But that is so cruel. It is so cruel. Quite possibly the most brutal kill of Yandere Simulator history. Not even Yandere Dev would have thought of this. I just hope this time my computer doesn't run at like zero frames per second because it, it makes it a little, a little bit hard, you know? <laughs> oh, there's our shotgun sodas. You know, the machines, the machines just do this from time to time, you know, they, they, they need to get fixed. But, you know, they've been doing it from time to time. It's just not like, it's not that big of a deal. So I figured a good way to go about this whole situation with the whole Sody Pop death, uh, I figured we could just basically tranquilize coconuts. We'll tranquilize her and uh, just bury her for sodas. I feel like that's the, the best method to go about this, this whole thing. So we gotta rank up our biology. Because you have to be very skilled in biology to bury people with soda pops. I don't know how it works. I didn't make up the rules. Hey, Coconut, you remember the other day? Remember we were talking? We were having a, we had a good old time. You were telling me about how you really love those soda pops. Well, I just, I have, I'm, I'm gonna buy you one. I'm gonna buy you one. It's on. It really is on me. All right. Um, I know. I mean, we're we're just such good friends. We are such good friends. And I, I know you've been going through a rough time. Um, you know, I, I kind of overheard you talking on the phone with a guy. Um, and I know that, you know, relationship, relationships can be pretty hard. I know. So I thought, you know, we could just take a load off and just be a couple of gals. And drink a few soda pops and just forget about our worries. I'm dead inside. It appears that I am trapped in this room. Um, seriously, I'm trapped. <laughs> I can't get- I didn't know you can't leave the room. How does that work? Well, we'll see about that. We will see about that. Oh, there she is. Oh. How could oh. you? Maybe, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Stop right now. Okay, we, we gotta think fast. We gotta think fast. Uh, Ebola mode. Ebola mode. Okay. All right. That was actually good thinking. I'm, I'm actually very impressed on my, uh, quick skills. Hey, wouldn't it make sense? I mean, we're touching her in Ebola mode. She's asleep. She's not dead. Whatever. This don't have to make sense. Well, I suppose we should get uh, the teacher out of the way because that's going to be all kinds of trouble. Why does... Why does blood come out of her? I mean, we just... All we did was touch her. It's not like we cut her or anything. All right, that's pretty good. That's good. I mean, the, she was always like that, right? The teacher, she, she was always like that. All right, now what we gotta do is we gotta drag good old coconut, my bestie, over to the soda pop machine, and hopefully no one sees, because that's gonna suck. I don't wanna be like found out and have to do all this crap again. All right, make sure we get a decent position for coconut because we don't wanna be lewd. Can't afford to be lewd, and this is YouTube. This is YouTube, we cannot do that crap. <laughs> Oh god, that looks painful. Let's get her. Let's get her some of these sodas as well. You gotta have both. They're different flavors. <laughs> oh dang! Now it looks like Coconut had like some freaking wild party, and she just fell asleep with all these cans around her. She would do that. I mean, she does go to Susata Town with with her boyfriends, with all them boys. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what what have I done? This is going to be hard to bury her like this. She's being dragged off by a sea of soda pops. This is not working as well as I thought it would, though. Hopefully we can get it to work, though. It's gonna be kind of challenging. Don't make this harder than it has to be, coconut. 
Okay, maybe we can barricade, kind of make a little barricade in front of our friend here. Maybe put something to stop the soda so it can kind of pile up, you know what I mean? I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, wait, it may work. Remember guys, always always recycle your coconuts. Don't be a jerk. Oh, it's kind of working. It's We got like a part of her face in there. She just won't go down under. Don't you just hate it when your victims just won't, they just won't drown in sodas? Don't you just hate that? <laughs> like hashtag relatable, like seriously. Okay, this method is just not working. It's not working. So the idea, and just bear with me, the idea I have is to just kind of barricade, you know, create like a, a sort of barricade with dead students. It's not that evil, all right? It just sounds evil, but it's not. I have a feeling this will this will work. I just want to see if we can at least bury one of them with sun pops, all right? Not weird, not at all. Dude, the freaking barber messed you up, dude. What is coming on with that haircut? I feel so sorry for you. I almost feel bad for killing him. I almost do. She's just like, eh, no one showed up today. Whatever, I'll just stand here and stare. You know, just because there's no students here doesn't mean I ha I don't have a job to do, which is to stand and stare. <laughs> now you see, <laughs> now now you see what I'm doing here. Now you see what I'm doing here, guys. Is this kind of like you know when you go to the beach? and you try to build like a moat, kind of like, maybe like a, a sand wall to try to stop the tide from coming in to, you know, to block the ocean. Like, that's fun. I don't know why that's fun. Well, this is essentially the same concept, just with soda, soda pops. So we're gonna do that. For some reason, the soda seem to stop at the benches, so we will keep it that way. And so all the, you know, the dead students, the, the dead students, not a big deal, uh, are going to act as a wall to stop the soda pops from from going you know this is this was a very quick thought thought out plan um, didn't put too much time into it but I think it's gonna work I'm really confident in this plan okay guys everything is in place um, I was originally going to just tranquilize coconuts but I decided you know dead is actually a lot easier so we'll just do that this has got to work this could never fail so as you can see we're starting to get a lot of coverage here lots of lots of thick soda pops here in this this uh, region over here and that seems to be the spot where it actually builds up the most and it, it's kind of working I mean look at Budo over here he's almost buried and Saki's almost buried as well but it, we're just not really quite getting there so we're gonna try this one more time okay so we've uh, gone ahead and made some minor adjustments to our uh, strategy here I decided to form like an L okay I decided to form like an L shape around that way, you know, the the soda the sodas can't escape anywhere else. I mean, they may fly over, but they're not going to really escape, and so it's going to keep them all right there. Therefore, we will bury Saki. This is some really important stuff. Lots of math and important physics involved into this, guys. It's very this is very important that you that you you put the most detailed calculations in, into this for this to work. These students should act as a barrier. Hopefully it works. Oh man, it's just like... Okay, all right, well that's a good start, I suppose, but we need to m maybe make some adjustments, move her. That worked surprisingly well for about five seconds. <laughs> it like blew, it, the, the, the cans blew the students away, basically is what happened. Oh, I think it's starting to work. Her arm is gone. Cannot see Saki Miyu's arm anymore. <laughs> and I think her head's going under too, man. This is, this is so exciting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game officially crashed. We got too many sodas, guys. That's so great. So happy to, to see that it crashed. Wow. I guess there's only so much soda pop the game could possibly handle. <laughs> guys, I don't think this actually works. Um, because they just, the students just go over the sodas. I just cannot get it to work. But I really had tried. I really did try to get this crap to work. You can kind of partly bury them, but you would have to get them like somehow perfectly aligned. The stars would have to align in the sky for it to, to bury them. I don't really know how it works. Okay, yeah, I honestly tried my hardest, but I just simply could not get it to work. So with that said, we're going to try to find the hidden girl you guys told me that there's also a hidden girl but you have to use the no clip mod which is the flying mod so we're gonna go ahead and try that before we end this episode <laughs> all right we're in good old falcon mode guys uh i think what you have to do is kill senpai and maybe in falcon mode or maybe ebola mode would work too so you kill senpai and you have to dismember him wow she sat here and just watched all this Yandere, punch! dang it bill you got my circular saw again 
Woo, we're outside of the school, yay! Yeah, I feel like I've done something in my life, Ki kind of. This looks pretty cool. This looks like it could be part of some kind of like visual novel or something. Oh my god, <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> I would have like went so far away, but I just I, I just happened to turn around and there she is. She's like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. That was actually really easy. I honestly thought it was going to be like, because because you guys left comments and said the town. So I thought maybe if you traveled far enough, you would eventually get to the town that you can ride your bike in. Like that was somewhere on this map. But man, I saved myself a good hour. <laughs> She's acting strange. Get away from me, you monster. Is that is that not how it goes? I thought that's how it goes. I must take this child. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I'm really sorry that it didn't work, but you know what? You never know until you try. If you guys have any other suggestions you would like to see me do with Yandere Simulator, please leave them down in the comment section down below. It would really help me out. Also, guys, if you like this episode, don't forget to share it with your friends. It also helps the channel grow a lot. Guys, if you want to use any of these mods that I use in this episode, check the links in the description down below. You can just click those and download these mods and have all the fun you want. I'm BG Mike. I will see you scrubs in the next uh, video. Yeah, that's what I do. Bye, guys.